what scientists just found in Forbidden Area at the Grand Canyon terrified them. Where does the Grand Canyon's Forbidden Zone hide its secrets? What terrifying new information have scientists found as of late? A forgotten civilization, an unknown species, or something even more disturbing could be on the other side of that door. Come explore with us these shocking findings that have scientists on edge and wondering what it all means. An extraordinary and terrible finding made deep below the heart of the Grand Canyon has shaken the foundations of the scientific community. The discovery of a forbidden cave that had been kept secret from the rest of the world for hundreds of years was made by a group of daring explorers. The astounding discovery that has been made recently has quickly traveled throughout the scientific community, which has resulted in a mixture of wonder and anxiety among those involved in the field. The entrance to the cave is hidden by natural rock formations, which serve as a foreshadowing of the secrets that lie within its depths. The preliminary explorations have unearthed mysterious old artifacts and odd geological formations which call into question the previously held views about the history of the region. However, this newfound knowledge comes at a price, as several members of the exploration team have returned with weird stories of uncanny happenings and an overpowering sense of foreboding. This is despite the fact that they were successful in acquiring the information they sought. While specialists mull over the remarkable ramifications of this discovery, discussions are currently taking place regarding how to proceed with additional examinations. The Forbidden Caves mysteries entice those with an insatiable curiosity, while voices of caution encourage restraint and warn against unsettling forces that may have remained dormant for countless centuries. At the turn of the 20th century, the stunning natural splendor of the Grand Canyon was in grave danger from the expansion of logging and mining enterprises in the area. This spectacular wonder is in danger of suffering damage that cannot be repaired because of the region's tremendous natural resources which have attracted enormous commercial interest. However, fortune took a turn for the better when President Theodore Roosevelt intervened to save this natural wonder of geology. The Grand Canyon was designated a national monument in 1908 by President Theodore Roosevelt, who understood the value of preserving the canyon's one-of-a-kind ecological and geological significance for future generations. This significant judgment not only served to protect the canyon from potentially damaging industrial activity, but it also served as a watershed moment for the environmental protection movement in the United States. As a result of the foresight of President Roosevelt, the Grand Canyon has since developed into a valued national asset and serves as a tribute to the nation's commitment to the preservation of its natural wonders so that they might be admired and treasured by all. The fearless explorer G.E. Kincaid discovered a hidden entrance that seemed to defy both time and reason, deep within the heart of the Grand Canyon. This entrance was discovered by accident, and Kincaid had an insatiable curiosity, so he cautiously set out on his journey, following the mysterious route into the deepest parts of the ground. The explorer's illumination surprised him by illuminating ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics that were adorning the cave's walls. Their presence in such a remote area was completely unanticipated. Kincaid was left in a daze after realizing that the intricate symbols formed a story about long-forgotten gods and vanished civilizations. The air was thick with an aura of intrigue, which caused them to ponder how such historical treasure trove could have remained hidden for millennia. The atmosphere was packed with an air of mystery. The more steps they took, the more excited and determined Kincaid became to explore the mysteries hidden within the cave. He was resolved to find out the truth about this incredible discovery. His thoughts were racing with new inquiries, and he couldn't wait to reveal his findings to the rest of the world and rewrite the history books. G.E. Kincaid couldn't help but think about the tremendous importance of this hidden room as he resumed his exploration of one of the most impressive natural wonders of the planet. During his perilous journey, the daring adventurer Kincaid made a startling discovery by complete accident. He found the entrance to a massive and intricate underground metropolis which was hidden from the prying eyes of the world, deep within an area that had never been explored before and was in an isolated location. Kincaid was taken aback by the highly advanced technology that he encountered as he descended deeper and deeper into the cavern. A long vanished civilization's inventiveness and skilled craftsmanship were on full display in the form of gleaming metal tools and machines that graced the ancient stone walls. The level of sophistication demonstrated by the city's architecture was far superior to anything else he had seen or experienced throughout his travels. He was about to discover the creepiest and most alluring thing in a crypt that was only barely illuminated. There he came across a macabre scene, a room packed with mummies, each of which had been immaculately kept and was guarding a different secret from a bygone era. 
He was overcome with awe and interest, and he couldn't help but think about the people who had once inhabited this marvel beneath the earth, as well as the forgotten history that these people had left for him to find. During the course of his trip, the daring archaeologist Kincaid made a chance discovery of a mysterious location known as the Citadel. This was an exciting turn of events. Because he was interested in the implications of the find, he didn't waste any time in getting in touch with the illustrious Smithsonian Institution to ask for aid. After becoming aware of the potential historical significance of the location, the Smithsonian quickly sent a famous archaeologist named Professor S.A. Jordan and a team of experienced professionals to investigate the area. As the group prepared to investigate the strange citadel, there was a buzz of excitement throughout the group. They methodically prepared their journey, ensuring that they would be armed with cutting-edge equipment and a lot of information so that they might discover its well-guarded secrets. Given Professor Jordan's extensive knowledge and experience in unearthing ancient civilizations, he is the most qualified individual to serve as the leader of this daring endeavor. As they got closer to the location, their anticipation increased, since they were aware that they were about to set out on a voyage that had the potential to change history. The joint efforts of the team, together with their thorough methodology, were guaranteed to uncover a treasure trove of insights, bringing to light long-forgotten tales from the depths of time. The uncovering of the underground city piqued the interest of historians as well as archaeologists. It seemed to imply the existence of a highly developed civilization hailing from a faraway location, which had the potential to shatter conventional narratives. Experts were left wondering about the history of this mysterious society as they investigated the complex network of tunnels and chambers, which revealed traces of architectural ingenuity as they proceeded through the maze-like structure. The layout of the city had significant similarities to architectural forms that might be seen in ancient Egypt or Asia, which contradicts the widely held belief that these cultures existed in isolation from one another. Its intricate architecture, cutting-edge engineering, and artwork all gave the impression of a society that was decades ahead of its time and pushed the boundaries of what was previously thought to be possible. The discovery of the underground city posed a challenge to the dominant historical narratives of the time and sparked a re-evaluation of the interdependence of ancient civilizations, both of which were the subject of heated debate among academics. The search for answers became more intense as specialists pieced together hints that might one day reveal the secret of this incredible civilization and its mysterious journey from a faraway location into the depths of history. The Smithsonian Institution's decision to cut funding for research, despite substantial findings uncovered by committed scholars, has raised eyebrows and prompted a surge of suspicion about possible cover-ups and suppressed discoveries. The seemingly uncooperative posture taken by the institution, known for its dedication to scientific inquiry and knowledge transmission, has left many bewildered. Rumors are circulating among scientists that the budget cuts are an attempt to bury groundbreaking findings that could threaten widely held beliefs and historical narratives. Some have speculated that the Smithsonian's reluctance to fund additional investigations is due to powerful interest or political pressures. With the scandal only growing, supporters of openness and academic freedom are demanding an investigation into Smithsonian procedures. The proponents of open and objective research claim that any sort of information suppression, whether deliberate or accidental, impedes the development of science and history. Thanks for watching. For more, kindly subscribe to our channel.